Good morning guys, we are rotationally grazing sheep here. I am getting ready to move them to their last paddock in this seven acre field. This seven acre field we broke up into about 60 or 70 different paddocks, so we are rotating every other day for these sheep right now. And we are running a flock of about 25 purebred Dorper ewes. So each paddock has been a little different because the grass is thicker in some areas on this pasture than others, but I found kind of a good spot is been about, I'd say 70 by 190 size for the paddock sizes for 48 hours. Um, they've been doing really good. They've been doing really, really good on one strand. Now for the first several weeks that we were on this system, we did five strands so that kind of broke them to it that kind of made them understand what that poly tape was if you want to go back on this channel one of the very first videos i put out was how to set up electric fencing for sheep so go back and check that out for a pretty detailed step by step on how we set this up So Dorper sheep are a breed of sheep that are known for producing good quality meat, good tasting meat, and for their heat tolerance. And we live here in East Texas and that was an important factor for us in choosing a breed of sheep. They are self-shearing, which means that they don't require any shearing manually. We are rotational grazing as a means of parasite control. When you are raising sheep, it is going to be your biggest struggle on pasture is the parasites and controlling them and rotationally grazing combined with the conventional deworming techniques has made a huge difference in the health of our flock. Since we started rotational grazing, we have noticed their body condition has improved, their parasite load has gone down, and they are all around more content and more happy. Now sheep are sort of notorious escape artists, but once we kind of got into the routine of every 48 hours, they realized the move is coming, and they seemed more content and more willing to stay where they were supposed to for the time that they were supposed to. These guys know and kind of have a an instinct in them to move perpetually. I think the sheep are typical of sort of a Mediterranean setting where they're moving across the landscape and I, I believe that it's kind of instinctually patterned into them to, to be always on the move. Before we started the rotational grazing um, they would escape to fresh pasture regularly and now there is really no need for them to escape because they are moved there every two days. So for our flock, the primary purpose of rotational grazing is for their health. And for our land, it is to give it the rest it needs between grazing periods to sort of regenerate and rejuvenate. We give the paddocks about 150 days rest period right now. It's quite a lot, maybe double that what it actually needs in a growing season. Um, but we do have a little bit more land than animals right now. We were initially on an every six day rotation with them, but the thing with sheep parasites is that they hatch out anywhere from three to 10 days. So you wanna move them off of their previous area before those parasites have a chance to hatch out. And that's why we chose 48 hours because that 
eliminates the risk in many cases of those parasites having hatched and re-entering the body. I heard it put really well um, when I was on Instagram this past week and the bottom line is it's no different nowadays than it was in Bible times. Sheep need a shepherd and while I can't necessarily be out here all day every day I do check on them frequently I do watch the line and make sure that it's got power and I am thankful for modern conveniences like electric fencing that kind of do half the work of shepherding for us So sheep are really good on pasture. The first thing that they will go to, their preferable forage, is what cows leave behind or what cows have not grazed at all. Um, in fact, the most popular multi-species grazing situation is actually sheep and cows. A lot of people will use sheep as weed control. Sheep were for us a sort of a choice based on their size. It was a smaller animal. It was a little bit more manageable on a family scale. They will eat and browse fence lines and they'll eat shrubs and bushes where maybe a cow wouldn't normally. And kind of that puts a little bit less pressure on your pastures. And if you maybe are living somewhere where it's a little bit more sparse, Growing wise, I'd say sheep are a good option for first time livestock owners in that sense. One of the things that I do wanna note is that we do have a four inch hog panel um, circumference around our perimeter fence. And we added this when we were in a continuous grazing situation um, to keep them from escaping our standard barbed wire. And if we didn't have this, I would need to keep a much closer eye on them. And I would also need to run the poly tape around all four sides rather than just two sides or three sides like we are now. And check on them a little bit more frequently just to make sure of no escape artists. I think that the four inch hog panel, it's an insurance in case they do get out if I've gone to town or something. Um, but if I didn't have it, I would just keep a closer eye on them or have somebody else check on them while I'm in town. So the two things that move with them are the water bucket and the mineral bucket which another crew is gonna come and fill up later on. And that is it for the shift.